Acton's foreign policy record. ISIS grew while the United States disengaged from the Middle East and ignored the threat. And where was the Secretary of State? Where was Secretary of State Clinton in all of this? Bush's foreign policy attack on Clinton may put her in a tough spot. Will she choose to defend herself or criticize the Obama administration on the campaign trail? In Northwest, Stephanie Ramos, ABC 7 News. New England Patriots quarterback Tom Brady and NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell make their first appearances in federal court over Deflategate. Goodell suspended Brady for the first four games of the season, saying he had to know about the deflated footballs used in the AFC Championship game. Brady and the Players Union deny that claim. Before today's hearing in New York, the judge urged both sides to reach a settlement. I sense that this judge would probably say, if you can't resolve it, neither of you are going to like what's going to happen if you proceed to let me make the decision. Well, that could be true. If the suspension is upheld by the judge, Brady will not be allowed to play in a regular season game until October 18th. The head of the Environmental Protection Agency is on her way to Colorado and New Mexico to see the impact of the three million gallons of mine waste polluting the Animas River. EPA Chief Gina McCarthy says her department takes full responsibility for the spill, which happened during an agency-led cleanup. The pollution washed down the river and is believed to have passed into Utah. While the contamination levels are dropping, the river remains closed for more tests to be conducted. Time to get a check now for our local forecast. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's such Hate a to tough situation yeah. they're dealing with out there. Yeah. Well, we are dealing with incredible weather and uh, everything. Every now and then we get the forecast right. It's the most amazing thing that happens. Good and, job, uh, Doug. The, the front, <laughs> front came through, skies are clear. We're going to be in good shape for several days here. Time lapse time. This is from Washington Lee High School up the road here in Arlington. Beautiful sunrise time lapse. And after the sun starts heating up the ground, the ground heats up the air as warm air rises and poof, you get these little decks of clouds. And I think we'll see more of these. So we had clear skies for a while, but this is pretty typical and predictable that we'll get these uh, fields of cumulus clouds. So uh, might even wind up being mostly cloudy times, but they're fair weather clouds with only a low end risk of a shower. And even at that, I think any shower chances will be well to the north and west of the uh, metro Washington area. Comfortable temperatures, 80 degrees at noon at Reagan National and Andrews, 81 in Frederick, 82 degrees in Quantico. The dew points, the way we measure the moisture in the air, they're dropping dew point temperatures Lower 60s, upper 50s, that is sweet. And that, again, is something we don't see too often in the month of August in Washington, but we're going to enjoy it for a few more days. Very comfortable combination of temperature and humidity levels. And with that, uh, I think just a fine ride weather-wise through the rest of the day. Partly cloudy skies, comfortable. Northwesterly winds 5 to 10, a nice breeze, and a high about 85, just a couple degrees below average. Satellite and radar are watching a few things, but not many because the front and all the cloudiness has moved off to the uh, east. But you might see a little shading here. There is a little disturbance in the atmosphere atmosphere, a few showers running north of Pittsburgh, and those the ones this afternoon could affect the mountains or areas north and west of the metro area. Rest of us will be in and out of these clouds. Tonight, though, it's going to be clear and turn cooler, comfortably cooler for some, might even need a jacket in the morning, 58 to 68, and I think it'll be ideal viewing weather for the Perseid meteor shower. It's an annual meteor shower, best time to watch, midnight to about 4.30, 5 in the morning, right before it starts to get light, 60 to 100 meteors per hour. It will peak early in tomorrow morning, get away from city lights. It's from the uh, Comet Swift Tuttle. As you look at some of these long streaks, if you see any of them, the actual meteor is only the size of a grain of sand to a tiny pebble. Makes a big light 20, 30 miles above the Earth. Here's the next seven days for you. Looks pretty impressive. Lots of sunshine, low humidity, comfortable temperatures. It's a good deal as high pressure builds in. We'll be in the mid 80s, eventually climb to the upper 80s on Friday. A slight increase in humidity over the weekend close to 90 and then I think early next week is going to get hot and humid again at least through uh, Wednesday of next week so we'll deal with it but boy what a nice stretch for the next few days it's gonna be so nice absolutely yep. 80s make you really miss them sometimes <laughs> it helps you turn that frown upside down it sure does mm -hmm. all right Doug thanks okay. so much coming up on ABC 7 News at noon what sleeping on your side could mean about your health and also some musty video of an amazing rescue why this uncle right here is now being called a hero When severe weather strikes, Stormwatch 7's on your side. Got a car? Got a title? Turn them into cash with Title Max. I got $1,000. $2,500. $10,000. Title Max accepts all makes, all models, and you can get your cash in as little as 30 minutes. Title Max has competitive rates in over 1,200 locations. Next time.